Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be solving a very radical equation. A quick and easy one. So we have x to the power cube root of x squared equals square root of x to the power x. And we're going to be solving for x values. You might see some solutions right away like x equals 0. Just kidding, x equals 0 is not a solution because that gives us 0 to the power 0. But there are other solutions that you probably immediately noticed. But let's go ahead and look for the non-obvious ones, if there are any. Great. Let's see how we can handle this. First of all, notice that we have x as a base here, but square root of x here. So let's go ahead and write the square root of x as x to the power 1 half. That's going to help us equate the bases. And now we get x to the power square root of I mean the cube root of x squared equals what happens here is we multiply the exponent so it's going to be one half of x now we have the same base so what do you do when you have the same is like something like a to the power b equals a to the power c well you can kind of talk about b equals c you can talk about a being b one uh, or negative one so on and so forth but Let's make it a little easier on ourselves. First of all, we do know that x does not equal 0 because that's just not going to work. 0 to the power 0 does not equal 1, as some people say. Don't believe them if they say that because it's not 1. Anyways, that's another story. So let's go ahead and see how we can handle this problem. Let's go ahead actually and divide both sides by x to the power 1 half of x. So that's going to do the following. We're going to divide by this. And on the right hand side, we're going to get 1. Since x does not equal 0, this is good to go. Now, since we're dividing two powers with the same base, we can subtract the exponents. So that gives us x to the power cube root of, by the way, I just turned that x squared into an x cubed magically. I don't know how. This is supposed to be the cube root of x squared. And so now we're going to subtract the exponents. That's going to give us x to the power cube root of x squared minus 1 half of x equals 1. Now getting 1 is nice on one side because we can talk, kind of talk about some specific cases. So what happens if a to the power b equals 1? We can talk about three things if, of course, x is real. For the complex world, it's a different story and it's probably going to complicate things a great deal, so we're not going to get into that. But I can kind of show you how to proceed a little bit. Anyways, if a to the power b is equal to 1, that could mean a is 1 and b is any real number. And b is, by the way, b has to be a real number because if b is not real, then we're kind of going into different territory. Or a could be negative 1 and b could be an even integer. And a cannot be 0, but b can be 0. Or a mustn't be 0 and b must be 0. Okay, three cases. Let's go ahead and take a look at each one. I think we kind of covered the third one because if a is not 0, obviously b can't be 0 either. Is that true? Let's check. Okay, a equals 1. Let's start with that. What is a? a is the base. Well, b should be the base, but who cares, right? <laughs> Anyways, so a equals 1. Let's call this first case, second case, and third case. So first case scenario. The base is 1, and b can be anything. We don't care. If x is 1, x is 1, and we got a solution. Great. Let's look at the second case. That was easy, right? a equals negative 1. x is negative 1, and cube root of x squared minus 1 half of x must be even. Is it possible? If x is negative 1, x squared is 1, cube root of 1 is 1 in the real world, right? And half of negative 1 is negative 1 half. With a minus sign, this becomes positive 1 half. Do you think 3 halves is even? No, not even you double it, right? So it's not going to work. x equals negative 1 does not work too bad. Let's look at the third case. a should not equal 0. And now we can have the exponent equal to 0. Let's check. If this is equal to 0, what happens? We get an equation, right? 
let's go ahead and put the one half of x on the right hand side and cube both sides. Okay, cubing both sides is going to get rid of the radical, right? And bring up higher powers of x here. So this is going to become x squared. This is going to be 1 over 8 x cubed. Now don't cancel out anything, put everything on the same side. x squared minus 1 over 8 x cubed equals 0. So we got an equation, we, we got something that equals 0, we turned it into an equation, we cube both sides, and then now we're setting it equal to 0 again. So you got to do all these transformations, and from here what do we get? Take out x squared, we get 1 minus 1 over 8 x equals 0. X equals 0 is not going to work because we already talked about it. X should not equal 0 because that's the base. I mean, you don't want 0 to the power 0, right? So this is not possible. So this has to be 0. 1 minus 1 over 8x equals 0. 1 over 8x equals 1. X equals 8. Wow, that's a good solution, right? X equals 8. Yeah, that's an integer. So far, we got two solutions. X equals 1 and x equals 8. So the solution set for real numbers seem to consist of two values. Now how do we handle this problem in the complex world if we can ever do it? So for the complex world things are a little different so I'm gonna go back to this equation where I had 1 right? So let's go ahead and write it again. x to the power cube root of x squared minus half of x equals 1. Now, if you can write x, not x, 1 is a complex number because there is no uh, complex number on the left-hand side. There is no constant, in other words. So I'm going to write the 1 as e to the power 2n pi i. And then you're going to natural log both sides. And this basically covers all the values of 1 because... Um, these are multiples of 2 pi, right? n is an integer, by the way. Needless to say, I guess, right? But let's still say it. And then we can ln both sides. And when we do, we get something like this. When you ln this, you're going to get 2n pi i. Hopefully this made sense. Because what the ln does is, so basically this is what I did. ln this and ln that. And then the power property tells us, hey, you can bring these down. But ln e is 1, so I didn't need to write it. So from here, you have an ln x and cube root of x squared and 1 half of x. So a lot of complications. This is a non-standard equation, and I don't think there is a standard or any type of non-standard solution. What you can do is you could probably approximate it using numerical methods, but that's going to be very painful. And with the i, I don't think that's going to be possible. Correct me if I'm wrong. And this brings us... To the end of this video, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.